Hi there, this is Alex of DCC Chain, LLC, Mall Chain Store in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, guys, my um, first, more, I, would, I should say, official hangout. Uh, I'm in the testing mode still. After um, YouTube model builder railroads or something, sorry, uh, they invite me last um, Saturday show. It was very cool and it was hangout on Tuesday. Um, I really enjoy it, so very cool. I tried to do those handouts um, maybe six months ago, but I think I'm in IT industry as well, but uh, technology I think is not ready. It's mostly a communication issue. So maybe I'm broadcasting on a very high speed internet, but uh, um, maybe at that same time, a lot of YouTubers doing same thing. So YouTube by itself, having its probably slug sluggish issues with uh, traffic and also on your end and maybe an issue. So um, today show about uh, pan pastel. And I will be, uh, I'll try to do my best to do small presentation about it. Um, I'm going to definitely do a good video with using my very good quality regular camera. This is again uh, just uh, in the testing. So let me put questions. And the first questions I got, uh, I look forward to this. Please, whether uh, Steam Engine and everything else you may want to. Yes, that's my plan. And um, what you're going to see, um, I'm going to put um, this is this camera from my uh, laptop, and I'm going to use my another camera. So uh, web camera connects uh, to USB port because I'm using uh, Apple uh, computer with uh, Windows uh, boot camp. So I can switch because that nice web camera is working off the Windows operating system. Okay, well, let's try to switch camera real quick. See how it goes. That's very nice. Let's put it up here. Okay, so what I want to talk about weathering. Uh, when you uh, an advanced modeler and working on layout, at one point you want your stuff looking really good. Uh, I'm in electronic mostly, a different type of electronic, so it's uh, not first thing for me. But I always, when I was a kid, um, I was always in uh, those um, military models, uh, usually scale 1 to 35, and that was years ago. And I now I, I saw how they weathering it. It looks really, really, really cool and nice. So maybe five years ago, I, I started concentrating more on weathering. And always I use just the chocks. Um, and I believe uh, a lot of you are using that same technology. And if you in advance, um, weathering solution, I should say, you use a lot of different paint technique. And it's really, really um, developing right now. So let me show you something first. Uh, first, I just want to show you about uh, the product I'm going to tell. So at our store, when we not really push you to buy anything you don't want, we try to explain to you what's advantages of one of the other stuff. And really, mostly we selling what we like. And that's one of it. It's a pan pastel. Uh, I found that company just accidentally, um, maybe about two years ago, maybe a little bit more. Uh, tried the product and very happy about it. So it's all made in USA. And I just use different um, area to store it. This uh, kit I show you, that's for mostly for buildings. And that's one of the popular kit. 
uh, it's rust and earth. We, we sell them a lot. It's very popular. Same thing uh, with that uh, grays and crime uh, colors. Okay, so that will clean my bench. Very nice. Every kit has, uh, oops, has, um, and again, and again, it's live show, so you see some oops. Um, every kit came with that uh, type of applicator, I should say. So you're using different uh, type of. things to apply and um, those guys just you know smear and pardon my english i might not use correct word but i just show you so honestly i never use the kit so i'm, I'm using it first time no i maybe i show it like at the show one time when the guy bought it, asked me to to open it and uh, show, and he said, I'm going to buy it anyway. I said, sure, no problem. Um, I'm using micro brushes, like tiny micro, micro brushes. I have some place. And then I'm just using uh, that type of brush to do uh, just smear everything. And you probably saw on just my regular video how I'm introducing that product. Um, uh, yes, uh, I just use those micro brushes. It works for me. Whatever works for you, no problem. Okay. Then lately, I found that new set. It just came in a package like this. It's only... Two, three, four, yeah, uh, five colors. Um, I really didn't read myself much about it. I kind of just um, describing everything myself. That that's my my nature. <laughs> that's how you lo living in all days in Soviet Union, you just figure out everything yourself. So what I found that those two colors can be easily using in the coal, make the coal look realistic. And also those white two colors. So one, it's a little bit, um, the particle smaller and uh, rip, uh, kind of representing greasy or wet area. So I, I show you right away. Just move these guys here. And uh, guys, please, and gals, please leave me a comment and it, it helped me a lot. So that side of the um, tender, I spend maybe 10 minutes at the show and immediately sold all my, <laughs> like, th th three sets of each. Um, it's Broadway Limited, just nice regular engine. Oh, good reflection. Maybe I need to work on the lights, but... That's how it looks like. Also, the top uh, covered with some, I just use that white um, pastel to flattening because original, it just pure kind of almost shiny, kind of semi shiny, um, I should say maroon color. And now, if you can see reflection, I did this in that car on purpose. I leave it in uh, at the store layout, so it got all dust. Yeah, I should say like three, four 
maybe yeah maybe a month and a half something like this see it if you can see on the camera I hope it's it's catching uh, shiny pieces like real coal it's unbelievable I, I, I really like it so my point is I really don't care if I'm putting like real coal uh, or it will be just plastic from uh, from the form press form from the manufacturer with those uh, black and uh, different uh, uh, thickness I should say there is the word and I'm sorry <laughs> um, I can make that uh, d different so let's um, just focus on one thing that thing I want to say uh, please don't get me wrong if that's that is not replacing very detailed and I'll show you this car uh, real prototypical weathering okay it's a very good package box a little bit older atlas okay good deal i guess package shrimp but this is very nice package of the live show you will see all those preparation movements this is very advanced uh, weathering from the picture I should say in combination with a past pan pastel and if you have air good airbrush and you have very good technique you can make it prototypical um, car okay uh, graffiti of course it's all uh, manual so the point I'm trying to make that will help uh, the pen pastel will be great if you are starting because that required a really good uh, skills to make that thing and equipment too so you need to have very good um, uh, paint booth so extra particles not uh, flying around it sucks in uh, um, to the vent and uh, a really good uh, technique with the paint all details and good tools too so probably a set of 20 brushes uh, combination on them a lot of paint and yes then you're getting that quality but again it's about four hours because uh, you need to um, wait till different layers dries out of uh, intensive work uh, mostly when I'm weathering cars like that like this I'm uh, starting with few of them and doing like step by step so the pan pastel and let's just start opening all main colors I'm use it, usually using that's in one set Russian is probably called palitra. Yeah, the way how colors transferring from one to another so it gives you better look. And for rust solution, you're using those colors. Yeah, so same thing. 
darker color here and I'll probably go like that. So that combination gives you like this nice weathering result. And I did it again in uh, uh, literally 10, 15 minutes. So what I'm doing first, and again, uh, this is just like showing how, how I'm trying to um, just a little bit in, in, in introduce. Again, I'm, I'm using different uh, micro, micro um, brushes, but uh, today I'll try to use this. So usually I try to just dull uh, if you really, really worry about um, the the car uh, tender at, at uh, that s circumstances, yeah, that's done too nicely. Um, so I, I will probably just use. Um, I usually I'm uh, just putting. Uh, my old words gone. I'm usually usually paint uh, airbrush it, airbrush it to make it flat. Okay, so that's what I want to do. Just make a little bit flat, so that shiny stuff goes away. And uh, if you have, you're not gonna do that technique to. 50 coal cars. There, there is no details. This is just like a black and some shiny stuff on those coal cars, right? I hope camera is catching. I, I, I like the how trucks done. Yes, and, and I think I need to make, um, so that, that's mostly like video introduction about the product and I definitely will do um, detail video with some st static pictures and uh, you know de details what I'm doing actually I, I like that thing too and I think I can probably just uh, wash it out okay and again if you put it too much you just use uh, paper towel and, and wipe it um, at this point, I'm, I'm going a little bit with the uh, with, uh, uh, dark stuff. Again, just to dull that area. And believe me, you will learn every day using it. Like I did first time I try, I was, oh my goodness, what I'm doing, it's not really what I'm thinking I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, maybe this. Then um, when you see mixing colors, I just take the another clean brush and, and layer them kind of layer by layer, taking them out. Oh, well, like that. Okay. Um, the brush actually gives me just um, extra stuff will, will go out. See, it's already kind of nice. Okay, then on those, I just calling those ribs, bowls. So you just need to think like in real life where it can be um, water going out or some area. Definitely, uh, I, I want to play less on those rivets, um, less um, of the rust. Okay, maybe some of them, some of them. 
a little bit different color. I think I'm going to make like a really detailed video about um, just the steam engine because I am looking um, that camera. I hope it's, it's catching. I'll anyway. I'll publish it um, no matter what. So on YouTube, so you can observe. Yeah. That's probably a little bit too much, so I really want to go much darker here. And again, you create your own technique. And of course, you can share with, uh, oh, I like that better. And you can share this as well. So somebody else can learn it. Um, water area, of course, it's, it's more white, and that I'll try to use. Um, so just use probably just this piece because it's I don't need much of it. Let's see how this is going to work. That's fine. Not bad. So, kind of few shiny pieces like water coming out and shines on the sun. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Maybe a little bit more of uh, that rust stuff here about uh, at the end of that line. Yeah, because water can be overflowing here, you know. I think that solution, uh, that pen pastel, it's um, you, you just can start it and it, not afraid of anything. You know, that's what mostly um, when I got my new brush, very, very, I, if I'm, I'm using it for years uh, before, I kind of scared just to try it. You know, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I, I, I tried to, really, but I was so. A little bit nervous, you know, how it goes, how adjustments and stuff. Oh, very nice. Okay. So your technique will improve. And um, yes, I, I'll probably stick with my um, small um, micro brushes. Uh, and I use definitely this stuff. Just it's it's very easy to um, apply. Just work with it, and finalize with the uh, with the brush. Just take extra stuff out. Uh, you can put dull coat. I will probably prefer acrylic. Um, we're selling a lot of testers, you know, cans. It's Easy way to apply. I personally am not a big fan of it. Sometimes it's uh, clogged uh, at the end, so you need to keep that nozzle and might start spitting. So, uh, yeah, if if it's if something not very like important, maybe building in on the side of the building, that's a different story. But for this stuff, I will probably prefer uh, acrylic, um, just dull coat. We are now carrying Amo by Nick Jimenez because during the summer and spring we have a good project. I think I'm going to do more tutorials on how to build um, models. 
uh, especially military models, uh, and bring a couple of uh, our, I think it's, it's two generations we're missing, uh, younger fellows uh, not modeling a lot. It gives you some um, technique, you know, and history. Uh, not just play computer games, no, <laughs> I like games too, but just uh, my uh, 10 cents to keep the modeling business in a good shape. Well, uh, I think that will be all for today. Uh, we'll see how it goes uh, after recording. One more time, I will do definitely, I have very tight schedule right now on installations, but I, I will use my um, station stationary video camera to shut um, uh, that weathering project. I thought I will, I'm going to apply more um, those um, co uh, coal um, pigments here, but I think it will be overwhelming. So that's what I did with just two of these guys. A little bit thicker and uh, looks like great. Okay, welcome to my channel always. Um, if you like videos uh, and comments, I r really appreciate it. If you don't like, <laughs> I, r I, I want to know. So to improve or help you uh, to go with uh, advanced modeling and uh, also with electronics as well. Thanks for watching, uh, supporting business. Let me put a uh, different camera. There you go. Yeah, that's kind of serious thing for my <laughs> stationary camera what I'm usually shooting a lot of stuff. I just like all good equipment. Okay, have a good one. Bye.